Oh no! What's up, what's up, what's up? Of course, it's me, your boy, Richie Rich, at Consumer Pond Support. Shoot another awesome video, cause that's what we do. Man, what's up, what's up? You know what Consumer Pond Support review appliances. All right, so today we're gonna dive into Consumer Product Safety Commission. All right, so of course, if you're new to the channel, what we do is review appliances, let you know exactly how we feel about a particular appliance. We grade them in four stance. We talk about the parts, we talk about the function and features, we talk about the price, we talk about the warranty and of course we give you our overall grade today we're going to focus on something a little bit different we like to give you guys information um, any specific updates that we might have we also want to give you a planche news as far as like recalls or information on a new product that's coming out that's probably different from others so we're going to focus a little bit today on a recall that is presented by Samsung like I said you can look this information up all this is going to be in the description box but we want you guys to be aware of what's going on with this particular appliance if you happen to purchase this appliance you do want to know what's going on so that you if if you happen to have this issue then you can contact Samsung directly to find out exactly how they can resolve the issue all right so we're talking about Samsung recalls top load wash machines due to fire hazard software repair available all right so it says product top load wash machine it says the hazard the washing machines can short circuit and overheat posing a fire hot hazard remedy repair all right recall date december the 22nd 2022 so as you can see this is pretty recent all right how many units probably how many units what it probably even happened to i'm sure it's probably not how many units has been sold but if you're looking at it, you're talking about 663,500 units all right of course they have different models that you can see there we've done a review on this particular appliance right so these are one of the appliances that we really like Right, we did a, a pretty good um, grade on this particular appliance so that you can see that stuff. Um, it's also gonna have the model number, right? So that's one of the great things I like um, when you're doing the recalls, they try to help you out with the model number. Um, you can contact Samsung directly, right? So you can do the, go to samsung.com. Um, they do have a number, a toll-free number that you can call from 8 a.m. to 12 um, a.m. Um, Eastern time daily right so you can use that as your at your leisure um, So let's go into the recall description and what is it they're doing and then we're going to show you the actual model number And you can match your serial number with it just in case if you happen to have this issue so that you can be aware of What's going on? All right, so it says this recall involves several models of Samsung's top load washing machines um, with super speed right this is the washer um were sold in white, black, champagne, and ivory colors and include model series Whiskey Apple 49 Bravo. Then you got 50 Bravo, 51 Apple, 52 Apple, 54 Apple, and 55 Apple. All right, so it's normally the same exact model number in that particular sequence. It's just a little bit different in the remaining numbers. It says the model and serial number are found on the washer's label attached to the inside of the top lid. An additional label is located on the rear of the washer. The following model and serial number ranges are included in the recall. All right, so this is where you actually look up your model number, right? So if you want to find out if this particular appliance, right, if it applies to the appliance that you have, um, again, you just want to be careful using it. You don't want to use it when it's not at, when you're not at home, especially if it ha is having a recall of overheating and catching on fire. That's really serious, man. So you just want to be careful as you use this appliance. All right, um, have I experienced anything yet, something like this in the field as of yet? I can honestly say no, we have not. But again, this recall is fairly new, right? December the 22nd, so that's just a few days ago. So you just wanna be careful with that. Um, like I said, contact Samsung um, for whatever reason, even if it has not happened yet, if your model number fits, I suggest you give Samsung a call so they can instruct you properly so they'll be able to fix your appliance so you won't have that issue. All right, so the remedy, again, here it says right here, this is the remedy, right? Consumers should immediately check whether their washer's software has been updated to prevent the hazard. 
If not, consumers should immediately stop using the washer until the software is updated. Instructions on how to check whether a washer software has been updated can be found here. And of course, that is your link. It says all Wi-Fi equipped washers that are plugged into power sources and actively connected to the internet will automatically download the free software repair over the air when they are connected to the internet. Consumers who have not connected their Wi-Fi equipped washer to the internet should contact Samsung for instructions on how to download the software repair. All right, so we can probably just click the link a little bit just to say, to see what's happening here. It says you are about to leave the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission. The link you selected is for a dis uh, destination outside of federal government. All right, so it says CPSC does not control the external site or its privacy policy. Can it? So I'm not going to really get into that. Right. So again, you can see the link. You can copy that. This is going to be in the description box as well. So we'll be able to help you guys out if you want to do that. Um, incidents and injuries. All right. So it says receipt. Um, Samsung has received 51 reports of smoking, melting, overheating, or fire involving the washers. Now listen to this. 10 of which resulted in property damage. Three consumers have reported injuries due to smoke insulation. Right. Um, so you want to think about that. This appliance is sold just about where everyone shops, right? You got your Best Buy, you got your Costco's, you got your Home Depot, you got your Lowe's, and of course other appliance stores nationwide. All right, this is from June 2021 through December 2022 for between 900 and 1500 bucks. So you're spending a reasonable amount of money on it. So again, if it, if you check this information out man hit the link put the model number and check your appliance out just so that you can be safe and this is what we want to bring to you guys as often as we can to make sure that you guys are safe when you're talking about appliance all right it says individual commissioners may have statements related to this topic please visit and you have that information manufactured in the u.s and of course you have the recall number that you can actually look up um, you can use to identify the your appliance or the recall so just you can copy this number contact samsung Give them the model number, give them the serial number, and like I said, they instruct you properly. All right, so, man, so what are we talking about? Fire hazard for a Samsung washing machine, man. This is where we're trying to help you guys with the model. Um, take the time to check this thing out. If you have this appliance, man, I suggest you do this so that you guys could be safe so there's no issues with your property or so you won't get injured. Of course, don't forget, like, share, subscribe to the channel, and again, give us your feedback. Let us know if you like these type of videos. We'll make sure that we do them more often so that you can get the information that you need. All right, because we're here for you. Like we said, you help me, I help you. We both help each other. Till next time, I'm out of here. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. We out. Peace.